I am on isolation and I just needed to do something to keep my mind busy and avoid going outside. If you clicked on this video, then you like extreme pantry makeovers, pantry organizations, organization hacks, just as much, if not more than I do. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where you get to see how I navigate the highs and lows of my apartment renovation and I show you how I save money along the way. It is the middle of April and we all know what's going on right now. I'm in New York City. My job gave me the option to work from home on March 12th and I've been doing so ever since. I am on day 26 of uh, quarantine or self-isolation or social isolation or social distancing trying to do my best to avoid going out, um, avoid crowds, and I hope that you guys are all doing the same. So in this video, I'm going to do an extreme pantry makeover. The kitchen that I'm planning to do is quite small, so I needed some extra storage space. So I have a little closet that's really supposed to be the access to the roof. And over time, it's turned into a place for things that don't really have a place. So I decided to take this closet and turn it into a kitchen pantry. It's right next to the kitchen, so it kind of works out. It looks like it's more like an extension to my kitchen. If you want to see more videos like this one, please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. Be sure to check out my next video. I'll share with you how much I spent on this pantry makeover, what stores I purchased all my products from, and some organizational tips that you're going to love. Here. A lot of marks on the wall. This ladder. It's got a lot of like pink blotches on it. There's like a real creepy attic space up here. It's a mess. Okay, let's not do this again. All right, let's go back in. What do you think? You think we can do this? Do you even want to do this? Should I just be like, whatever? Yes? No? Yes? No? Yes? Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is wipe down all the surfaces so the paint won't chip. To clean the ladder, I'll be using some water and dish soap and some steel wool grade zero. The next step requires stealth and precision. Wallpaper! We have the adhesive on deck. Bingham! The height of my closet is nine feet. I cut the wallpaper in four sections. Each section is eight feet long. 
I will put a shelf short of eight feet high. This is where I will also put my cleaning supplies so you shouldn't be able to see the gap. I'm using a dish sponge to spread out the adhesive and a Starbucks gift card to smooth out all the wrinkles. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I have a lot more videos just like this one, so be sure to turn on that notification so you're notified the next time I upload my video.
Oh my. Yo, okay. God. There you go. Bobby. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> That's a hard work for women right there. Thanks for watching. I'm Astrid and this is Astrid by Design.